Remember how a couple weeks ago Paul was nagging me to install all these security cameras? Well, today I'm going to show you how to install not one, but three different types of ring security cameras, and they're going to vary in level of difficulty of install from hardest to easiest, like a plug-in. Anybody can do it, and it's all brought to you by Home Depot. I'm going to be showing you how to install their floodlight and then two of their spotlight cameras. One will be battery operated and one will be a plug-in. I'm going to be showing you how to install the floodlight first, which is the one that is wired to an existing floodlight junction box in your house. There are a lot of features to each of these cameras, but my top three favorite are the fact that there's an HD video on the app that you can zoom into. It's a two-way talk, so you can talk out of the speaker and they can talk back to you. And then last but not least, there's motion detection, which the lights turn on to at night automatically. Right off the bat, the thing that I noticed about these cameras is they're very gorgeous and you can get them in white as well, which I think would be very sleek, but we already have black security cameras existing on our property, so I'm going to stick with that. With every camera, actually with every Ring product, they do a really good job at including every accoutrement essentially that you will need for the installation. So it's manuals, whether it be a bracket or wire caps, anchor screws, it has everything that you need. You don't have to go anywhere else. On the app, I like to add the device before I even try to install it with the manuals because they have such great videos that show you step by step of the installation process. I went ahead and added a floodlight device to my Ring app and then followed the prompts. Started out by flipping the floodlights out of the way for easier installation and turning off the breaker where I was going to be putting this floodlight. Once I removed the previous light, I went ahead and put on the bracket with the provided screws and pulled the wires through, attaching the copper cord to the green ground screw. I mentioned that if you're not 100% sure if it's weatherproofed or not to go ahead and do so, so I went around the outside of it with some weatherproofing silicone. Favorite part about this process is you can hook the camera with the S hook provided to the bracket so you can install with ease by using two hands. Once you have those two hands, you can obviously just wire, not have to worry about dropping the camera, attach the black to the black, the white to the white, the copper to the copper, and then you literally just shimmy the camera onto the bracket and attach the screw caps and it's good to go. It literally talks you through alongside the app. Your Ring device is now connecting to your Wi-Fi network. With Ring, you're always home. And right after you're done installing, you can check the view and adjust the camera if need be. You just click live view and it pops up a live feed of wherever you put the camera. And if it is attached to a switch, you want to make sure that you put the sticker provided that says do not turn off because you need to leave that on the whole time. Paul is in the backyard with the birthday girl with her birthday present. Oh, see how big it is. We got her a giant ball. While I installed this for security, I also installed it to make sure I can see Callie and it's two-way talk so I can talk to her if she's doing anything crazy and I'm not right there. If you don't have an existing junction box or a floodlight, don't even worry about it. They have this spotlight battery camera that you can install anywhere, but first things first, let's take a look at it. You are met with the camera, of course, which is nice and compact, but those lights are super bright. Don't be deceived by the size of it. It is tiny, but it is mighty. It also comes with all of the things that you're going to need for the install. This camera only provides one battery, but there's space for two, so you can purchase a second one, but you will need to charge this one with the provided cable to its full life before we install. To the left, you have the charging cord itself, and then to the right, you have anchors and screws that are going to attach it to the wall of your choice. You have the ring screwdriver on the left to install the actual piece and the masonry bit if you're gonna be drilling into stucco like I am. Last but not least, you have the wall mount. Open the app and scan the barcode. It's gonna happen with every camera I'm imagining, so it is accounted for on your account. You pop in the battery and follow the prompts once the camera is turned on. It's very similar to the floodlight where it kind of speaks to you and talks you through it and shows really detailed videos of the whole process, so I don't wanna be repetitive here. I turned on the live view on the app, which I showed you before, and adjusted the camera to where I wanted to hang it, marked it where the wall mount needed to go, and drilled in with my masonry bit, which I've shown you so many times before with my ring doorbell installs that I've done. And don't judge me with my tank top and my shorts, it was literally 100 degrees at 9.30 in the morning out here. 
Adding the wall mount to the wall and attaching the camera to the wall mount is how easy this install is, but it gets even easier with the next one. If you are concerned with any of the other installs that we did, if this looks intimidating to you, well, this is the camera for your home. It is a plug-in security camera, and yes, you heard that right. It is a plug-and-go. So when you unbox it again, you are met with the beautiful compact sleet spotlight camera, but this time it is attached to a cord, which lets you know it's paintable to match your home. The cord itself is 10 feet long and the only thing different I saw in the kit was going to be the cord clips so you can secure it out of the way or onto the wall so it's not just flopping around. For the last time, go ahead and add the device to the Ring app, scan the product in and follow the prompts in the app. This one is crazy easy, you just press the button on the top once you plug it in and wait for it to talk to you. This might take a moment, Rome wasn't built in a day, but up with successful with Ring, we're always home. You want to install the back plate first and then hook the camera onto the actual wall mount and secure it with the long screw provided. Don't jam the screwdriver into the wall like I did and then clip back the cord with the clips provided. Like I said, I, as much as I installed these for security, I also installed them to have eyes on the mini humans and her friends in the backyard and the dog and also to kind of yell at Paul when he's not cleaning up after himself. Paul's in the backyard right now and he never covers up the couches after he uses them. I always have to run out in the middle of the night because he forgets. So let's just remind him. Babe, you better put the covers back on the furniture after you come in. Seriously making fun of me right now? I can hear you. It goes two ways. Love you, babe. I'll get her, babe. It literally never ends with this guy. I can't. Thank you so much to Home Depot for sponsoring today's video, but honestly, I'm completely obsessed with all these cameras, and I really hope you guys enjoyed today's smart home product review. I will catch you Sunday with an actual DIY project.